Isn't that sunrise absolutely beautiful? That's one of my favorite things about Arizona is sunrise and sunset here are incredible. If you ever come to Arizona, you're definitely going to want to get a sunset and a sunrise. Absolutely stunning. It is already 75 degrees this morning and it's not even 5 a.m. It doesn't feel too muggy out. It has been so humid the last week of boot camp. It's been miserable. I mean, I have to bring a sweat rag because I just drip sweat during boot camp and the mosquitoes are starting to come out. So I brought my mosquito pants that I ordered off of Amazon just in case I have a full bottle of water, which I've been drinking about halfway through my workout. I'm just hoping today's not as miserable since it's not as humid. I, we always say we live in the desert because we want dry heat. And so when it's humid, we all complain around here. So we'll see how the workout goes. It is Monday, so it's typically a hard workout, but it's a great way to kick off the week. I did make my protein coffee this morning. I had about half of it. So I'll finish that up when I get home before I have breakfast. I have a lunch recipe that actually my friend Amy, who I had cosmetic surgery with sent to me. We're gonna try it out today. She and her boyfriend swear by it. So we're gonna make that for lunch today. We do have to make a quick Walmart run. I did a grocery pickup for just a few things. Troy decided last minute that he wanted to have BLTs this week. So I had to grab a few things for BLTs. And then Palmer has these balls that he loves that we get at Walmart and they're low stock. So I'm hoping that they actually show up in my order and just a couple other random things just to make it until I grocery shop here in a couple of days, but I'm going to get my workout in. We'll get ready for the day. I'll see you either back at breakfast or on the way to Walmart whatever one happens first. So we're headed to Walmart to grab my groceries. It is 723. I'm so hungry, but I didn't have time to make breakfast and eat it before eight before 8 a.m. I have to be at Walmart by 8 a.m. for this pickup. I did get an email that a couple of the things are out of stock. So I'm just hoping we have the stuff for BLTs. I'll give you a little Walmart grocery haul when we get home. But my workout this morning was a really good intense workout lots of burpees, but it was a disgusting workout. I was dripping sweat. And when I say dripping, I mean literally dripping. I had a sweat rag, which I was so grateful for, but I would do an exercise and it would just drip off of me on my mat. My hair was soaking wet. I actually had to blow dry my hair. I just washed my hair last night. It, I do wash my hair only once a week just because I have dry hair. So I had to blow dry my hair, put some dry shampoo in. It literally felt like I had taken a shower during the workout and the mosquitoes are out. So I had to spray myself with bug spray. Not quite ready for my mosquito pants, but I did have to spray spray myself with bug spray. It was just a disgusting workout. I, We only have this weird humidity for just a couple of months during monsoon season. Cannot wait for it to be over and go back to dry heat. I'm okay with dry heat. I'm not okay with all this humidity. But as soon as I get home from grabbing this Walmart order, I am eating breakfast. We are here to pick up my tiny little Walmart haul. So here's the little Walmart haul. So I got some green leaf lettuce for the BLTs, thick cut bacon for Troy for the BLTs. I did get some more lunch meat because we were almost out and he's been making breakfast sandwiches. I've been doing ham with avocado toast for some extra protein. And then these are Palmer's favorite little B-A-L-L-S's. -L he's right here, so I can't say it. Yeah, I can't say the B word. I actually ordered four packs of these and they only gave me two, so they must have only had two left. He loves them. And that's it, that's all that I grabbed from Walmart. Okay, so now it's time for some breakfast. I'm going to make my protein bowl. It has been a long time since I've made my protein bowl, but we're going to make a protein bowl for breakfast. So I do the Simply Hash Browns. I'm actually going to cook the rest of these up and that way we just have them cooked and on hand. And then I do some cottage cheese one whole egg and then some other type of protein and I'm going to do my chicken and maple breakfast sausage patties and I put this all together in a bowl and then you eat it all together like the hash browns with the egg and the cottage cheese. It's so good. I'll show you how it's all put together but it is one of my favorite breakfasts, full of protein, keeps me nice and full. So here is my breakfast. So I have a quarter cup of cottage cheese, a serving of hash browns, the sausage patty and the egg. And I like to just kind of mix everything together. It's so good, especially if the yolk of the egg is runny. Really good, and like I said, really satisfying and filling. When I get done with breakfast, I'm going to go ahead and mix up my one up creatine. And I have a couple of coaching calls this morning. So I'm going to use the last of my One Up Nutrition in Pineapple. You guys saw my big haul last Wednesday, so I am all stocked up. I'll try a new flavor next week of creatine. 
I just add some ice and a straw. I do have a 20% discount for 1UP. I'll link it for you guys if you're interested in checking it out. I love their BCAAs. I also love their creatine. And then I take their L-carnitine. I actually took that this morning before I went to boot camp. So this is an everyday occurrence. Are you waiting for a new ball? Is that what you're waiting for? Every single day. He comes in the laundry room and watches these brown boxes right here, which have his new balls in them. Is it time for new ball? Is it time for treats, Lola? She gets a special treat and he gets a new ball. Okay, Palma, hang on. I buy his little ball, rubber balls off of Amazon. Oh, that's the last one in that box. You need a new ball every day, you ready? Go get it, here you go baby. Every single day. We spend a lot of money on balls for you. Yes, we do. I have a coaching call in about 30 minutes, so I'm going to make myself a coffee. And I've been getting quite a few questions on Cacao Bliss. I have shared this multiple times here on my channel. In fact, my bag is all the way down to there. It's a product that I really, really love. You guys have been asking if I still use this and the answer is yes. One of my favorite ways to use Cacao Bliss besides mixing it into yogurt, I love to mix it into yogurt. It gives you this decadent rich chocolate yogurt is I love to put it in my blended or iced or even hot coffee. So this is a superfood elixir blend from the brand Earth Echo. Like I said, I've been using this for quite a while. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, 100% organic, soy-free, and non-GMO. And what's in here, so what is so amazing about this and how it just really helps support your overall health is what's in the Cacao Bliss from Earth Echo. So first there's raw cacao, and this is ceremonial grade raw cacao, which is the best of the best, which basically means it's not processed down where it doesn't have all of the benefits of raw cacao. Raw cacao actually helps increase your energy level and and curb cravings so it can help lead to weight loss. And then turmeric, that is one of the main benefits I love from Cacao Bliss from Earth Echo is that helps with inflammation from exercise or if you just suffer from inflammation, as you know, turmeric is essential as a supplement and it is in Cacao Bliss. And then there's MCT oil. We've heard all the rage about MCT oil. It actually helps support brain function, boost your mental health, and it gives you increased physical energy. So it's just a really good way to help boost the energy both physically and mentally. And then Lakuma is actually a really fantastic antioxidant and it helps protect your cells against free radicals that's also in here. And then there's also four superfoods. There's organic cinnamon, Himalayan sea salt, mesquite, and black pepper fruit are all powerful superfood ingredients that support overall wellness. There are so many amazing benefits just in this little package of Cacao Bliss. That's why I continue to use it regularly. So one tablespoon is a serving and it's just going to add this rich decadence to my blended coffee because I'm actually making a chocolate protein coffee. So this is just going to really enhance the chocolate goodness. So I'm going to use Clean Simple Eats Protein in German chocolate cake. I'm going to use Herbalife High Protein Iced Coffee Mix in mocha. And then I just made a fresh batch of cold brew last night. This is the Drag Up Bananas Foster. I'm going to use my Drag Up Cold Brew. It's so good. I'm telling you, this cacao bliss just adds this such yummy decadent chocolate. So, so good. I will link Earth Echo Cacao Bliss down below for you with the discount. Like I said, I've been using it for months and I absolutely love it. There's quite a few recipe ideas on their website. So I'll have everything in the description box. And I'll also link Clean Simple Eats, Drag Up, and Herbalife with discount codes for you. But definitely pick up the Earth Echo Cacao Bliss. So many amazing uses for this, so many health benefits, and it tastes amazing. I'm not 100% sure what packages are coming today, if any other than the one that just came in from Amazon. I ordered a cooling blanket. Now we do have a couple of other cooling blankets, but this one is to serve a specific purpose. It is going to go on the couch right there. So you can see that red blanket, that's Palmer's blanket. It's the blanket that Troy and I use when we're on the couch, but it's hot here. It's over a hundred degrees and I want a cooling blanket for the couch, for Troy, for myself, for Palmer, for Lola, anybody who wants to use it. And I ordered this right off of Amazon and I was so excited to 
to see that it's tie-dye pattern. How fun is that? Cooling blankets are literally game-changing. You know that I have the one in my office on the dog bed. They really make a big difference in the summer and in the hot months. Actually, you can use the cooling blankets year-round. It uses 100% Arc Chill cooling technology, which is a Japanese fabric. It is double-sided cooling fabric called Q Max. One side of the blanket, the tie-dye side, is 100% Arc Chill cooling polyester, and the other side is 100% Arc Chill cooling nylon, which is breathable and moisture wicking, keeping you dry and not stuffy. These blankets are also amazing for your skin. They're skin friendly and extremely soft. All of the blankets are machine washable. Do not dry, just simply hang in it. It'll keep its nice, soft feel. I love the tie-dye blanket for cool summer nights, especially when it's so hot outside. It's so nice to have something that's actually going to help cool you automatically. So I'm so excited for a little bit later this afternoon to use my new cooling blanket while I relax with the dogs. I will also be giving you an update on Lola this afternoon when we're chilling with our March Power cooling blanket on the couch. So again, I purchased this right off of Amazon. They have multiple sizes. Mine is a queen sized blanket. They have all the way up to king. So if you have a king size bed or you want an extra extra large blanket to be under during the summer months. They have all different sizes on Amazon. So again, I will link it down below for you, but I highly recommend cooling blankets. Like I said, game changer in the summer. It is time for lunch and we're gonna make that recipe I mentioned that my friend Amy from New York sent me. My friend Amy is the one I had cosmetic surgery with and she swears by these, so we're gonna make them. So thank you, Amy. I know you watch my videos. I love you and thank you for the recipe. So this is called Marry Me Chicken Nuggets. So what you need is one can of chicken drained, one egg, one cup of reduced fat cheese, and then some blend. She has McCormick butter garlic seasoning. I'm gonna use the blend, which is salt, pepper, garlic from Kinder's, kind of the same seasoning. And then it goes into a mini muffin pan and you mix everything together and bake it for at 350 for 15 minutes. And she says that they are absolutely amazing. So we're gonna make these chicken nuggets and we'll see what we think. So I added my drained can of chicken to a bowl. I have one cup of light shredded cheese one egg, and then seasoning. And then we're just going to mix this all together. I'm going to spray my little mini muffin pan. And then Amy said just fill up the little mini muffins. I'm assuming we're going to get 12 out of this. So here are the little chicken nuggets. These look so good. They smell amazing. I'm going to pop out a few for lunch and I'll be back to show you what I'm having. So I'm going to have four of the little chicken nuggets. Uh, spoiler alert, I tasted the little bit that stuck to the muffin pan. Oh my gosh, it's so good. She's right, they're amazing. And then I have about a half of a cup of grape. So this is going to be my lunch and I will have the Marry Me Chicken Nugget recipe on my recipe website. These are amazing, absolutely delicious. I might've used a little too much seasoning. They're a little salty, but they're cheesy. They taste amazing. Here while I'm eating lunch, I'll give you a quick update on Lola. So like I mentioned last Wednesday in the What I Eat in a Day, Lola's protein has been really high in her urine for quite a while. It hasn't showed any elevated kidney levels until one time recently. So her oncologist wanted her to see an internal medicine doctor. So last Wednesday, I took her to see the internal medicine doctor. And unfortunately, the protein in her urine, I think it's called pro Proteinia, proteinia, something along those lines is not reversible. It's only manageable. And we definitely want to manage it because her protein continuing to be really high in her urine can actually lead to kidney issues. And kidney issues are also not reversible and can be life-threatening things like kidney failure. So in order to manage it, there's only a few things that we can do. She takes her medication twice a day. The other big thing that we have to do is completely, and when I say completely, I mean 
180 change her diet. She has to go on a low protein diet because her body is producing too much protein. So that meant all new food, all new treats, all new everything. It cost me about $220 on Chewy to get her new food and new treats that are low protein. She has to eat a low protein kibble. I also picked her up some low protein canned food because I figured I could mix that in with the kibble. I've mentioned that she doesn't eat her kibble much now that she's on chemo. So if I could mix the canned food in with the kibble, maybe she'd be a little bit more likely to eat it. And then I got her just a whole bunch of low protein treats. There was a few that the vet recommended and they actually sold them at the vet office, but they were way more expensive than on Chewy. So I ordered a whole bunch off of Chewy. She has her own jar of treats now. She has her own can of food now. She has her own bag of kibble, but we're hoping to regulate the protein in her urine, not make it worse, not continue to elevate her kidney levels, but stable things out with changing her diet and continuing on the medication. We're not even sure what caused this to happen. It could be a result of her having lymphoma cancer. It could be a result of chemo. It could also just be because of her age. We're not sure what caused it and we and it's apparently not fixable, reversible. It's just manageable. And so we're gonna do whatever we have to take to manage it. And while when Lola goes to oncology, they do a urine test and they also do a blood pressure test because the medicine that she takes can actually lower her blood pressure. It has not affected her at all. Her blood pressure has been really stable and her blood pressure was actually really great at the internal medicine doctor. So we're just gonna manage it the best that we can with diet and medication, and hopefully it continues to stay stable. And maybe that elevated kidney was kind of a one-off thing and that won't happen again. We just, like I said, don't want it to progress and we don't want it to affect her kidneys, which, can be fatal. I mean, kidney failure in dogs is not reversible. So we don't want to have that happen. So we're going to do our best to manage it. I'll absolutely keep you guys posted in future videos, but overall she's doing really, really well. She doesn't have to go back to chemo for three weeks. She was supposed to go next week, but her doctor's on vacation. And they said, because Lola's doing so well, let's push it out another week, which is music to my ears. She's literally doing great. She's her old, happy, amazing self. I'm really, really grateful. I'm honestly overwhelmed with gratitude on how well she's doing because this is uncommon for dogs with lymphoma. And I know that Diesel, Diesel's watching over her because that's the only thing that makes sense to me. I really believe that he's watching over her, he's watching over our family, and my baby's doing so well. And I can't imagine not having her. It, it's something I don't even wanna think about. So whatever I can do to keep her quality of life there, manage this high protein in her urine, manage her kidney function, we're gonna do it regardless of the expense. It's just another expense for us, but my baby's happy and she's healthy and really that's all that I can ask for. So I'll definitely be keeping you guys posted. Is there a place with sun all year round? It's time for an afternoon snack, and I have been loving these. I actually hauled these in my Costco grocery haul. You can also buy these off of Netrition. So if you don't have a Costco or your Costco doesn't carry them, Netrition sells them. I do have a discount code for Netrition. I'll link it for you. But these are the protein pretzels in everything. So they kind of taste like the everything but the bagel seasoning. They are 15 grams of protein, only 110 calories, three and a half grams of fat, and only nine total carbs. So really, really low carb for pretzels. I think they're absolutely delicious. You get 18 pretzels in a serving and this is what they look like. They look like little mini everything bagels. I love them. They're really good on their own, but I really like them dipped in guac. So this is the Fresh Zilla Mild Guacamole. I'm going to have two tablespoons of guac, which is only 50 calories to dip my pretzels in. And then for some extra protein, some fruit, some sweet, I'm going to do the Daisy Cottage Cheese in pineapple. So let me put together my afternoon snack. So here is my snack. There are my pretzels. You get quite a few in a serving. A couple tablespoons of guacamole and then my Daisy Cottage Cheese Cup. For dinner tonight, I'm making Spanish rice with ground beef. However, I thought I had a bell pepper and I don't. So you will want to add a bell pepper. I even looked in my pantry to see if I had any Rotel or anything and I didn't. So we're omitting the bell pepper, but you're also going to need chicken broth, a can of diced tomatoes, rice, minced garlic, and for seasoning, you'll need cumin, chili pepper, or chili powder, I should say, oregano, 
salt and pepper, a pound of ground beef, I'm using 96%, and an onion. This is a huge onion, so I'm only going to use half. So the first thing I'm going to do is start browning a pound of ground beef. I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. And then in another large skillet, I'm going to add my can of diced tomatoes and a big heaping scoop of minced garlic. And we're going to allow that to warm through. Now I'm going to add in my diced onion and allow that to cook for about five minutes. Then we're going to add one cup of rice and we're going to allow that to cook and brown a little bit. Once our ground beef is done, we'll remove it from the heat. Now I'm going to add two cups of chicken broth. And we're going to allow that to come to a boil and then we'll reduce the heat and let it simmer until the rice is about 90% cooked through. I'm also going to add my spices, so my cumin, oregano, and chili powder. Give that a quick stir and then I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit and again just allow it to simmer until your rice is cooked through. So I went ahead and added the ground beef to the rice. Like I said, it's about 90, 95% done. I'm going to just let it continue to simmer here and get nice and thick. All right, so our Spanish rice is done. I'm going to go ahead and plate this up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. All right, so here is dinner. The entire skillet makes only five servings. So you get a good amount. We've got protein, carbohydrates, some veggies. So this is dinner. As promised, we're gonna try out the One Up Nutrition Strawberry Shortcake Ice Cream Protein Powder. I hauled this in last week's One Up haul. I haven't tried it, it's still sealed. I promised that I would hold out to try it with you guys. I'm honestly really excited about this. One scoop is 150 calories and 25 grams of protein. It also has BCAAs in it and I've heard amazing, amazing things about this. So we're going to make a blended protein shake. I'm going to use non-fat Fairlife milk. We'll do one full cup. And then I'm going to throw in some frozen strawberries in place of ice just to really like amp up the strawberry flavor. It's going to be such an amazing dessert. I'm hoping it gives me strawberry milkshake vibe. So before we make the protein shake with the One Up protein powder, I'm so excited. I'm going to go ahead and wash my face, throw my pajamas on, get ready for bed and we'll make up the protein shake together. I can't wait. So to make my protein shake, I'm going to add eight ounces of the Fairlife milk. I'm just weighing that out on my food scale. Look how good this protein powder looks. There's little chunks of strawberries. They look like what's on the outside of the ice cream bars. So one scoop of protein. And then I'm just going to add enough strawberries to serve as my ice. So maybe five or six. And we'll blend this up. I can always add more strawberries if I need to. I didn't have to add any more strawberries. I think that's perfect. Ooh, that looks good. This looks amazing. It looks like a milkshake. All right, so there's my protein shake. It literally looks like a strawberry milkshake. I cannot wait to taste it. So I did top it with a little bit of the Target Favorite Day Strawberry Whipped Cream. It tastes like a strawberry milkshake. It's really, really good. I don't have any weird protein taste at all. Actually, I don't taste protein. This is really good. 25 grams of protein in the One Up Strawberry Shortcake Ice Cream Protein Powder, and then I think 13 grams in the Fairlife, so packed with protein. This is delicious. I will, like I said, link one up down below, the creatine and the protein powder, as well as L-carnitine. These are my favorite things from one up. This ongoing train before I lose my mind and go insane. Well, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.